If that God that answers by fire is your God, scream the loudest, hallelujah. And Elisha answered and said to the captain of the 50, if I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume all of your lives. The Bible says immediately the heavens opened. Fire came down from heaven. Consume him at his 50. I profess that consuming fire of God will fall down and consume every devil in your life again. Again, another captain and his 50 came to take the man of God. And Elisha stood and said again, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven, consume you and your 50. And immediately fire came down, consume him and his 50. I stand as a man of God today. Aqua. Everyone under the sound of my voice, the God that answers by thunder, that answers by fire, the God of our Father Bishop Oedeko, will consume every devil coming to your destiny today. The king sent another 50. The man came on his knees. I prophesy. Anything that won't let you enjoy dominion this year, by today's impartation, they are bowing at their knees today. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Ready for a change of story, jump on your feet and scream. Lift up your voice and blast in the heaviest songs. Larabatamanama. Today is my day, Barakatakataba. Ontakatama, Ekasotabalana, Ekatobalana, 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 Consume every devil, consume every sickness, consume every attack, consume every frustration. Ava kona malana mana, okata kata, opara kato na, kato na mania, kato sa, pola na ma, kato na ma, rada ma. Eh, alagba da ino, the one with eyes as fire. It's full of water. to him is here already the glory is here the blessing is here the triumph is here the liberation is here celebrate his mighty presence mighty almighty the God that answers by fire the God that answers by thunder the God by answers by his presence Jehovah, the man of war, is here clearing devils, is here canceling reproach, is here ending barrenness, is here changing stories. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. By today's impartation, via the prophetic mantle, 
scream the loudest amen the last part to your lord shall be the last one forever the last reproach to suffer shall be the last one till jesus comes everything trying to bury your destiny scream a loud amen is ended now greatness we answer to your destiny triumph we answer to your destiny prosperity we answer to your destiny scream the loudest amen you are breaking forth on every side all eyes look to you my father and you give them their meeting this season let no one return unsafe today let no one return ashamed today let no one return without triumph today let no one return with any sickness here today the loudest amen you have the largest breakthrough from here this morning lord send your word with power do what you alone can do the loudest amen we vow to give you all the glory come on big 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 your hands together for the lord give him a shout of praise please be seated For that wonderful choir ministration, put your big hands together for the Lord. Today is the prophetic set date of operation by all means. Are you excited? Big, big, big. If you are excited, show with your big hands together for the Lord. It's the fifth wonder Sunday. Wonder next level testimonies are answering already. If you had those ones, 15 years barrenness ended just like that. Your case is not yet closed. Whatever may look like a challenge is ending now. One more moment for you to enter that accident. The loudest amen arrow return back to sender. Miracle jobs are going from here. Husband in the UK, he had his MSc degree just like that. And did you hear that testimony? She's no longer an ordinary officer. She's a senior executive officer. Where they left you before? after today the loudest amen they will not find it anymore <laughs> will be bcc lcc ldc starts tomorrow and jbs for all our children also starts tomorrow are you clapping <laughs> if you have never been trained in the school of faith you and your children school for exploits school for trial Show up on finally 7.30 tomorrow. Two weeks in God's presence is better than 10 years in the church. Two weeks in Bible school will repair your life suddenly. That man said, 20 years ago, I came to Wobe just like this. Nothing much to show. But from that Bible school, everything opened up. You are the next. Just those two weeks, everything opened up. 18 years of marriage, blessed four children, and up till now, he's still answering. Miracle car, breakthrough in business, your own is the next one. Don't let today's service be the end of your celebration. All through the month of August, a loud amen you'll be celebrating. Make that amen the loudest you are going back with the testimony. My privilege, I'll take you through God's word. And remember, we have all been told to come with a white handkerchief. It's a special impartation service. Via the prophetic mantle. You can't remain the same again after today. Understanding the wonders of the prophetic mantle. Understanding the wonders of the prophetic mantle. An ironic scripture. I'm taking part two of that message. 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 15 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 15 No devil can limit your destiny sir Nothing can close up your future The sons of the prophet were viewing to see What will come out of his life What will come out of his family But your story is changing this morning They were standing afar to see But when they saw The spirit of Elijah now rest on Elijah. They bow themselves to the ground before him. As you carry that mantle from here, 
by the loudest amen all your mockers will bow to you one by one jesus smile today <laughs> hear me our spiritual understanding of any scriptural truth is what defines the level of results we experience our spiritual understanding of any spiritual truth is what defines the level of results we experience proverbs 16 22 the wise man says proverbs 16 22 he said give me understanding sorry understanding is the wellspring of life understand is the wellspring of life but he that doesn't care about instructions will end up fully that won't be you it doesn't take it as an instructions everything he has passes everything he has passes understand is the wellspring of life psalm 119 verse 144 david therefore says 119 verse 144 the b part he said give me understanding my life shall be better i want to understand this truth so i can change levels i want to understand this truth so i can get better today light will shine upon your life so he said to jeremiah jeremiah 1 11 and 12. Jeremiah 1 is 11 and 12. He said, Jeremiah, what seest thou? Can you see what I'm saying? Understanding simply means to see. Anointed to see. Do you see what I'm saying? He said, yes, I see. As long as you can see what I'm saying, the next verse, I will hasten my word to perform it. The farther you see, the greater your destiny. The larger your understanding, the greater your encounters. That's why I can see the Holy Ghost moving from line to line, pole to pole, road to road this morning. Isaiah 11, 3. Isaiah 11, 3. A loud amen. He will make you of quick understanding. Read that scripture. Want to go. I shall make him what? Of quick understanding. Stretch your hands here. I declare now. In dimensions you have never imagined. Dimensions you have never received. Scream a loud amen. Quick understanding will answer to your destiny. Everything you are hearing right now, you are going back to practice it. A loud amen. Whatever answers to the prophet over this house, we answer for you immediately. Whatever answers to Bishop David Eriko, we answer for you immediately. Whatever bows to Bishop David Eriko, we bow to you immediately. Whatever answers to this liberation commission, scream a loud amen. It shall be yours. August 2019, you will never be poor again in your life. The script, the word for this month is financial fortune is my heritage. Let's declare together one to go. Financial fortune. Don't be afraid. That's your heritage. Say it louder. One to go. Smash every devil. Scream the loudest. I want to go. That shall be your portion. What? is in the prophetic mantle i need understanding i'm a politician and i want to know better i'm a doctor i want to know better i need more understanding i don't want to struggle again i'm a married man what exactly is in the prophetic mantle one the prophetic mantle is the transmission of power from god that triggers signs, wonders, and miracles. There is tangible, transferable power from God through the prophetic mantle. Tangible, transferable power from God through the prophetic mantle. You can't do it or you can link up to an anointed vessel that carries and go forth with the power from that anointed vessel and the same grace we answer for you with speed elisha took the mantle of elijah and went to jordan where is the god of elijah immediately jordan parted transference of tangible power from god i said in the first service always remember Psalm 66, verse 3, and verse 7. Psalm 63, verse 3, 
He says, say unto God, how terrible are thy works. He will answer for you. Through the greatness of your power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. Say loud amen. amen. Now read verse 7, the loudest you can want to go. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes upon the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Say loud amen. No devil will stand against your progress from now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Satan doesn't understand your tears. He only understands power. There's transferable power from God. It came from Paul. So everyone that took a mantle from him, and the same way like Paul, diseases were healed through their hands. Evil spirits cleared out through their hands. You're going to go back from here. Not only will you have a miracle, you become a miracle worker. That amen doesn't sound like a testimony. In Acts 19, verse 11 and 12, Acts 19, verse 11 and 12, the Bible says, God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. That shall be your own. From his body we are brought to the sick, handkerchiefs and aprons. Diseases we parted from them, evil spirits went out of them, and that's how devils are about to you. I'm not hearing your amen if you're there. I'm not hearing your louder amen if you're there. Look up here, what that means, no matter who you are today, you can accelerate your command of supernatural power by connection to an anointed vessel. No matter who you are, you can accelerate your class of dominion, accelerate your command of supernatural power by having access to an anointed vessel. Power can be transferred to you. You get up from here, you are operating in another class. Say amen. amen. Say louder amen. amen. Say the loudest amen. amen. And one of our grandfathers or great grandfathers of blessed memory in the faith, Kenneth E. Hagin, would testify. He says, a woman would always come to his meetings. 90 year old woman or thereabouts. And this particular meeting, she just decided and thought, I'm seeing so many miracles. All kinds of things happen, barren, carrying children, marriages restored, lives changing. But there are too many people around me back home that are suffering. So the next camp meeting, she carried bales of mantles. After the meeting, went to Kenneth Hagin, please lay hands on them. I want to carry these miracles back home with me. As hands were laid upon them, she went back home with those mantles. Everyone around her that had trouble, she sent for them, gave them a mantle. Give them a mantle. Give them a mantle. One by one, they were coming back. Miracle children. Coming back. Miracle husband. Coming back. Financial status. Coming back. Skin disease disappears. Coming back. Handwriting is cancelled. I prophesy. Everyone that you have come here today as nothing, as the one who touches your life, you are going back from here is celebrity. As you are going back from here to transform destinies. You are going back from here, whatever answers to your father, you are going to partake of the same. Scream a loud amen, they won't find you on the ground anymore. Number two, what is the prophetic mantle of the overflowing, apostolic, and high priestly anointing? Apostolic and high priestly anointing that imparts special blessings overflowing I like to say with all authority as a privileged partaker in this commission you cannot give what you don't have brethren Acts 3 verse 16 Acts 3 verse 6 you can't give what you don't have the making of any great destiny lies in the giftings of the Spirit of God that you are connected to. The making of your great destiny as a student, you can't do it alone. Connect to somebody better than you. Hebrews 7, 7. You can't bless yourself alone. Can you go home now and say, I bless myself? 
Will that blessing answer for you? Try it now. Put your hand on your head and say, I bless myself. Read that scripture. One to go. Without all contradiction, what? The less is blessed of the better. You want blessings upon your life. Special blessings. Special greatness. Special good news. You want to know what to do? Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 133, verse 1, verse 2, and verse 3. 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That shall be your testimony. It's like the precious ointment upon the head that runs down the bear, even Aaron's bear, down through to his garments. You shall be a partaker. Read verse 3, the ladders you can want to go and do of Hamon. As the dew that descended upon the mount of Zion, for there what the Lord commands, even life forevermore. Everything about the anointed is anointed. Somebody just saw Bishop Oedipus' cars, a cow kinds of, and just rested upon the car and went home free of cancer. It landed in Abidjan. A woman was dying of HIV, and she had God's servant was coming, and she said to herself, "I may not know this man, but I've heard." Lord, once this man steps his foot on this ground, I know HIV must have died. As he entered like that Côte d'Ivoire, that woman testified, as I heard you have landed, I knew HIV has died. She went for test. HIV canceled forever. Anything that doesn't look like Christ hanging around your destiny as the man, apostolic prophet, a man to touch you today, Skim a loud amen. It is cast fire in the name of Jesus Christ. They call one woman the queen of Sheba in Liberia. Many a number of years ago. Arrived in the nation with all royalty. She was an occultic person. She was in wickedness of all kinds. Put her in a big hotel. And began to celebrate this wickedness. In Moravia. But just that same weekend. We had at the meeting. They had the empowerment summit in our church in Morovia and God serve and landed and he was put in that same hotel when light entered the hotel entered town Queen of Sheba disappeared unceremoniously when newspaper carried it that as the light of God entered through his servant into the city into the same hotel they look for Queen of Sheba they didn't find Queen of Sheba anymore I stand and I prophesy in the shoes of my father, Bishop Oedebo, every queen of Sheba, every Jezebel sitting upon your family, every wicked manipulator, every wicked tormentor that will let good things happen in your generation, I declare by the light of God, enter your life today. Skim a loud amen, you will not see that devil anymore. Light is walking into your life today. Darkness is disappearing from your life today. Light is walking to your family today. Darkness is appearing from your destiny today. Every terminal disease in the land, amen, it is ending right now. Lift your two hands and prophesy. Lord, let this overflowing anointing, apostolic anointing, let it rest upon my life. I mustn't be a spiritual orphan. I belong to this spiritual lineage. El Kotamania, El Pakatona. I belong to this spiritual lineage. Everything answered here must answer to me. Everything answered here must answer to me. I belong to this bloodline of divinity. I belong to this bloodline of divinity. I belong to this lineage of spirituality. I belong, he must answer in my children, answer in my daughter, answer in my daughter-in-law, answer in my son-in-law, answer for my grandchildren. I belong to this lineage of glory and honor. No devil can stop me. No devil can stop my own. I belong to this ever advancing lineage, ever succeeding lineage. Zero tolerance for failure. Katonamania. Apogasatua. Empalanamora. Elkasosania. Epotakataba. Giadabosa. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Scream the loudest amen right now. Kitan is cursing your life.
it's not long message today but full manifestation <laughs> god is set for a quick work right now listen 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 every generational curse every generational calamity that will let good things happen in your lineage they have found your head will not rise they have found your children will not rise scream the loudest amen because it's cause scream a louding amen the bondage is shattered now scream a glorious amen blessing will be flowing in your life receive it in the name of jesus 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 i said what's in the prophetic man to overflowing apostolic anointing overflowing priestly anointing that guarantees all kinds of generational blessings before you sit down studio preach with me galatia chapter 3 13 14 and 15 we have always read it i don't know that curse man was good until sin came and then the curse took over but it didn't stop at that point read that scripture once you go christ has redeemed us for it is written as is everyone that hangeth on the tree listen you don't punish two people for the same offense jesus went to the cross for your sake and they stood as a cross on your behalf anything that looks like curse around your destiny that will let business go forward. We are calling sickness, we are calling disease, we are calling manifestation. Scream the loudest, amen. That curse is ended right now. He said, By the power of redemption, you don't belong to that curse lineage anymore. <laughs> Read verse 14. One to go. Verse 14. One to go. That a blessing. The promise of the Spirit through faith. If you are receiving blessing, look at this, my outstretched arm. The loudest amen cause is turned to blessing in your life. Now look at verse 15. It's where I'm heading for verse 15. One to go. Brethren, I speak. After the man of man, though it be, but a man's covenant, yet if it become for farm no man disannulled it or added there the one that can disannul your flow blessing is not yet born come here this man even say listen put that scripture back even if i'm talking about a covenant that came to you by a man standing to pay the price on your behalf i'm announcing to you as you when you hear bless i have some you outside on you side bless when you hear blessing it came to you not by activity came to you by the covenant of the blood you have entered a new blood lineage you are not in that one anymore you have entered a new blood lineage disconnect from that one you have entered a new blood lineage a new spiritual lineage uncrossable when you hear you are blessed that means occupy your place you are not there anymore they be said a man came and paid the price don't look at that man don't look at that man look at the price that he paid that as long as you accept what he paid for you are no longer under that deity you are no longer under that wicked god you are no longer under that attack you have changed spiritual lineage you have entered a new lineage, and no man no devil can disannul it no motivation can disannul it. Nothing they have written against you can disannul it. Disannul means it cannot be cancelled. It cannot be tampered with. It cannot be uttered. I speak as you carry this mantle. That's a reaffirmation. You have entered the Oyedepo lineage. You have entered the Living Faith Church lineage. You have entered the Prosperity lineage. You have entered the Normal Sickness lineage. You have entered that lineage I can never be poor. You have entered that lineage I can never be sick. You have entered that lineage I can never fail. Scream the loudest and no man can scatter your destiny anymore. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. 
the last trouble you saw in your family the last accident you saw in your family the last reaction that you saw in your family the loudest amen shall be the last one forever in the name of jesus god lift your two hands and appropriate that blessing over your life i cannot because no man can disannul what god has repaired no man can alter what god has changed no man is not yet born or to be that no man what redemption has delivered to me that will tamper with my son that will tamper with my daughter that will tamper with my children never and no man can disannul it i'm rested forever i'm redeemed forever i'm liberated from labor a brand new lineage no more curse no more accidents no more shame no more sickness never again no devil can take us back we have left that one long time forever no man can disannul it no man can return us to serve any wicked god never Hey, ah, I cannot serve sickness again. I cannot serve fail again. I cannot serve mockery again. Ah, Taba, I am under a brand new lineage. A spiritual lineage of faith. A spiritual lineage of signs and wonders. A spiritual lineage of prosperity beyond measure. Lift your voice. Then Okatama, Ebokataba. On the Balania, cause every cause around you, cancel every shame around you, attack all your attackers this morning, judge all your mockers this morning, afflict all your afflictors. No man can disannul it, they can't take us back. We have left that place left to return again. Redemption has put me in front, put me in royalty. Put me in beauty. No man can reverse me back. Never. It's all your born. Ah, Kota Maria. No gang from hell. I've entered a brand new lineage of great marriages. Brand new lineage of great children. Brand new lineage of continuous advancement. Brand new lineage of forward ever backward. No man can tamper with my destiny. Take it, take it, take it now. Take it, take it, take it now. It's a quick walk. It's a quick walk this morning. It's a quick translation this morning. It's quick liberation this morning. Thank you and thank you. Wave your hands to him. Celebrate it. Appreciate it. I can't be sick again. I can't be poor again. I can't be on the, I have a brand new lineage. I'm under this apostolic lineage. This high priestly lineage of special blessings of special glories, of special promotions. Take it, take it. Can never be poor. Can never be an unity, never. I am great. I'm in this lineage of greatness, of global impact. I'm in this lineage of transgressional testimonies. Ha <laughs> ha Give him thanks and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Wherever you under the sound of my voice, you are not sure you are saved. You are not sure that your lineage has truly changed. It can change right now. If you are not born again, you will suffer again. But you are here. You are tired of the attacks. You want a change. Lift your right hand and surrender to Jesus. I'm tired of all the wickedness. I want Jesus to help me this morning. Lift up your right hand. I want to rededicate my life for a new beginning. I don't want to suffer in my old age. I don't want accidents anymore. Lift your right and lift it very hard. I want Jesus to help me. Except a man be born of God, he will be attacked again by devils. All those hands lifted up, you will never suffer again. Pick your bag and Bible, rush out here. With your hands lifted up, rush out here. Pick your hands lifted up. Run, run, run. Whether you are young or you are old, whosoever the Son of God shall set free, you are free indeed. The way you clap for them, that's how they will clap for this year. Run. Pick your Bible. As a student, you mustn't fail again. As an elderly man, you mustn't suffer again. As you are clapping, they're running. Run for your dear life. They mustn't attack you again. They attack you in your sleep. They attack you in your bed. They attack your academics. You must enter that new lineage. Run. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. The more you clap, the faster they keep coming. Find your way to the front. You mustn't end up in mockery. 
The prison house is opening this morning. The prison door is opening this morning. Every captive is set free. Choir sing as they come. Choir sing as they come. Keep clapping as they're coming, keep clapping. them quickly all those in front lift your right hand I say this after me say Lord Jesus say it very loud Lord Jesus I surrender forgive me my sins blood of Jesus deliver me today blood of Jesus sanctify me today I decide from now Jesus come into my heart be the Lord of my life be my savior. Take my life today and turn it to a testimony. I will serve you forever with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. Put your right hand on your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, these are your sons and daughters. Give them a brand new heart. Give them a brand new life. Save them today anything attacking them let it be terminated today give them a brand new beginning and i decree from today the last trouble you saw shall be the last one forever you are free indeed in jesus mighty name open your eyes congratulations you will never see that trouble in your life anymore all you need is to surrender and that's what you have done follow these pastors they have a special package for you they will attend to you quickly and they join us for the rest of the service are you clapping? No more trouble. No more sickness. Just follow them for attention. The way you clap for them, that's how they will clap for you this year. Everything I give to you. We don't need nothing. We don't Everybody, please sit down, break out your mantle. Your greatest assets on the day of impartation is your expectation. The strong faith in your hearts. We are told miracles at the desperate, the deliberate acts of God responding to the desperate faiths of men. I'd like you to get ready. In a moment, it'll be time to draw virtue from this mantle. And all you need, one, is a high sense of value. Receive it now. A high sense of value. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 14, 34 to 36, when they heard that it touches us and they go back totally healed, they rushed out. The Bible says, and when they were gone over, they came to the land of Gennesaret. Men of that place had knowledge of him. And they sent it to all that were around about the country and brought unto him all that were exist and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And all that touch were perfectly whole. They are going to touch the mantle this morning. Touch your head, touch your garment, touch any part of your body where there is sickness, and pass it to the next person. A loud amen, you will not see that devil anymore. I'm not hearing your loudest amen. Number two thing you require is a strong crave. That's your access to flow in the supernatural. A strong crave to flow in the supernatural. A determination to flow in the supernatural. Our spiritual connectivity is the source that releases the flow from heaven. A strong crave. Second Kings chapter 2, 4 to 6. 
Elisha, Elijah had everything to drop Elijah. He said, how are you here? I'm going to Jericho. He said, as the Lord liveth, where you go, I will go. The son of the prophet came and tried to even discourage him the more. Have we not had? Leave this man alone. He said, I know he's going. Leave me alone. He said, try it again. Number verse 6. He said, wait for me here in Jordan. He said, never. I won't leave you. I must go back home blessed. That strong crave guarantees an access. You will not miss your part. I'm not hearing your loudest amen. And number three, it's our genuine sonship tie. Genuine sonship tie. He said, my father, my father. The only, only impartation only comes from fathers to sons. Colleagues don't have to give you access to impartation. Father to son. Second Kings 2 12. Second Kings 2 12. Elisha saw it and cried out. My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horses thereof. He saw him no more. He tore his clothes. And by verse 13, he turned and picked up the mantle of Elijah. Jump on your feet. Jump on your feet. He took up the mantle of Elijah. Stretch your hands towards the stable and cry out to God. Take out your mantle and stretch towards the stable. I'm set to take the mantle of my Elijah. I must go back with that mantle. I'm determined. Lift up your voice and cry out this morning. I'm a true son of my father. I'm my father, my father. Whatever I carry must answer for me. Stretch your hands, stretch your mantles. El Katonama, stretch your hands, stretch your mantle. That's your covenant guarantee to transference of virtue. El Malada Baraka Tonana El Katonama. Can I have the sewer step for very fast? El Tobalama. That's our covenant guarantee. I'm a genuine daughter of David Oedego. I'm a genuine son of David Oedego. I'm genuinely connected. My father, my father, what my father let you carry, let it drop upon my life. My father, my father, what you carry, let it drop upon my life. Lift up your voice and cry out. El Katona, El Perakataya. My father, my father, my father, my father. El Katona Ma, El Kazato Balania. My father, my father, can I have elders move out very quickly? Male elders, all deacons on the house. We have a very full house this morning. All deacons in the house, step forward very fast. All male elders, young and vibrant, all deacons, active. And please, can I have three rows? Can I have three rows? One row going to the children's church, the extreme one. The middle row will start on the choir side. And the last one will start at the grace entrance. One row starts at the grace entrance. Second row starts at the choir side, the blessed entrance. And the third row moves straight to the children's church. Lift your voice. In Jesus' mighty name. Expect a raw impartation of the spirit of might that guarantees express in this commission. Say they that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. A loud amen. That spirit of mind will answer by your destiny today. <laughs> Expect the spirit of wisdom that enthrones in this commission. He said, The wise shall inherit glory. That's our portion. Glory everywhere. Stretch your mantle to that table. I declare today that same wisdom we honor for you now. <laughs> the loudest amen. The last shame you saw shall be the last one forever. Stretch your mantles. Expect to receive the spirit of faith that makes more than conquerors in this commission. Believe in all things and mountains skip like lamps. Believe in all things, Covenant University. Believe in all things, Landmark University. Believe in all things, Faith Academy. Believe in all things, Kingdom Heritage. Believe in all things, 5,000 churches in one year. The loudest amen that says with me as our your destiny. Receive it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Expect to receive right now every kind of testimony you have had on this altar. I'm not hearing your amen. <laughs> A man came to Shiloh and said, after that encounter, he said, what I cannot get in 50 years has answered in one year. I speak by prophecy. As the mantle of the prophet comes upon your body, Ekatama, what you are looking at in 50 years, God will fast forward it for you as a testimony. <laughs> what your generation has never touched, accelerated testimony will answer for you. 
I said that breakthrough we answer for you. Scream a loud amen. They won't find you at the back anymore. It will touch your head, touch your garment. Pass to the next person. If there's any chalet there, touch it. Listen, South Africa. No, no, Kaduna, Kaduna. Kaduna. A woman came to be God's servant. Who was in Canada, the Shabaluta at that time. I said, listen, in the middle of the night, her husband just died. Come and pray for me. The man looked at it like 3 a.m. I can't follow you anywhere. But I just came back from Lagos and I had the mantle of the prophets. Everything the prophet carries is this mantle. And he carried the mantle well back. She went back to the hospital. They said, go and bring ambulance. She came back with mantle. Took the mantle and rubbed the body of the dead man. Rubbed the body of the dead man. The man jacked back to life. I decree, stretch your mantles here. As this mantle touches your body. In your old age. In your middle age. In your youthful age. As a student. As a youth. Any organ that is dying in your body. Jacked back to life now. Brand new hearts receiving now. Brand new kidney receiving now. Brand new blood system receiving now. Brand new limbs receiving now. Brand new brain receiving now. Brand new destiny taking now. All things about your life, the Lord has ever becomes brand new. Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus a man a woman with a child one at the back at three two children entered the strange house and there they were in front of kidnappers you can't go anywhere you have reached the end of the world he said no way Bible says she sorry that testimony said she took her back I said no way the child was shouting Holy Ghost fire. She carried the oil, splashed the oil on the ground. The place caught fire. The kidnappers could not cross. They said, Where did you bring these strange people? Where did you bring this strange people? And then she took their step, turned, the door was locked. She waved her mantle. The door opened up. She escaped. I decree, wave your mantle. Wave your mantle. Every satanic door, every satanic prison here, we have their puts on your family. Wave your mantle, the door is tearing open today. I said, that's this opening for you today. I said, that's this opening for you today. I said, life is opening for you today. I said, that's this opening for you today. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Father, glorify your son. Honor your servant today. Every mantle, instant miracles. Every mantle, instant miracles. Every mantle, instant miracles. Every mantle, instant miracles. Wave it and shout the Lord. Let's move. Whatever followed you here as a question mark, followed you here as a concern. As this man to touch your hair, scream a loud amen, you will not see that devil anymore. So receive his servants, receive the prophets, receive the mantle, receive the word, believe it, and the unction will land upon your life. Sit down, place as the man's mantle touch comes to touch your hair, touch your garments, touch your mantle, pass to the next person, and then you can stand. Please be seated. Can I have all the kings? Step forward very fast. Quiet sing. He touched me. He touched me. He touched me. Miracles are happening everywhere. Life is changing everywhere. Oh. Come on. I'm 
moving everywhere, 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 everywhere. Healing is everywhere. Amen. Amen. Touch my soul. been touched, rise your feet, put the mantle on your head. Rise your feet, put the mantle of your head. Every instrument of death that has declared you a candidate for premature death from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, the loudness in that devil is crushed here today. That manipulation is shattered here right now. The loudest amen. All devils are cleared out in the name of Jesus. Every sickness that followed you here, cancer is judged. Arthritis is cancer. Asthma died completely. You're here. Palpitation all the time is cleared completely right now. Every knee pain, back ache, ankle disease. A love amen is crushed now. You couldn't write well, but now God has restored your fingers. You are totally healed in Jesus' name. You came here with mouth ache, toothache, ache, pain in the mouth. It's clear. You came here with a bad odor. It's completely wiped out. You are here this morning. You have an aroma around you. You know it chases people away. Hello, I say. But supernaturally, there's a change of aroma here this morning. Yeah. Everyone that is hated by men, hated by people, that you repel good things, a loud amen, God is reversing that case right now. Yeah. You're here, you have kept losing good opportunities all through the year. You have come on that, um, that unction that has zero tolerance for failure in seven days maximum. All you have lost shall be restored to you. Seven days maximum. All they have taken for you shall return back to you. Right here in the meeting, as you are hearing me, mental setback is cancelled. Internal disorder is cancelled. Negative verdict is annulled completely. You are choking as you are listening to me. But it's ended now. Peace to that regency. I said peace to that regency. I said peace to that regency. 
scream the loudest amen you are going totally free wave your man to the shout the loudest hallelujah wave your man to the shout the loudest hallelujah As you kept waving, I saw all kinds of devils disappear out of your body. All kinds of sickness disappear out of your body. All kinds of ache disappear out of you. All kinds of manipulation out of you. Scream! Hallelujah. I'd like you to check yourself. Never again. Any sickness that followed you here, never again bend and turn and spin that movement to your body has ended you have a testimony don't hide it rush out here all kinds of healings are taking place we had about eight testimonies in the first service with all kinds of vibrations check yourself don't hide it rush out here 10 years gone 20 years gone 50 years gone eye disease neck disease back disease blood disease so much testimony the child had a genotype problem but now completely healed any terminal case with you has ended finally check yourself rush out here and they will share your testimony we'll celebrate with you also those that are here for the first time remain standing the rest of us be seated and put together your transport offering put together your transport offering we are receiving now if you are here for the first time there's a first time miracle for you god bless you You're welcome pick your bag and bible rush out to the front here as a choir sing today's your first time People around them, welcome them, encourage them to come, pick your bag and bamboo, and rush out here. Meanwhile, all members put together your transport seat. God will give you a miracle car this month. God will give you miracle houses this month. God will give you turnarounds this month. Put together your transport seat. Choir, can you sing? Let's celebrate. Jesus, you love me too much.
Somebody enjoy the love of God already. Shout the loudest hallelujah. With that mantle in your hand, no devil can stop you again. Get back home and whip that mantle around your life. The family got back home and said, okay, pastor said we should get back home and whip. And they were striking every devil, every devil. They struck their bed. In their bedroom, a wild bear came out of the bed. Trying to escape, they run and killed that bed. Barrenness died in their life. Every time they sleep on that bed, that was the evil bed that was stealing their children. Wave your mantle, I prophesy. This day, everywhere you strike, every devil comes under executive judgment. Every devil comes under eternal judgment. Every evil manipulator is caused in your life. Every disease is shattered in your family. Within the next seven days, you become a testimony of surprise to yourself. The loudest amen you are returning next Sunday, a living wonder to your destiny. Wave your mantle, job and scream. Amen. Take out your transport offering and then we dance and go. My friends, this is Winners Chapel, Oweri. It's the house of signs and wonders. That's the way we are rejoicing here. You have come here from today, depression has ended your life. Every evil mark on your head is caused from today in Jesus' mighty name. Who you company with determines what accompanies you. He that walk with wise shall be wise. Hang around fools, you'll be a foolish man. You have come as a man of wisdom today. Please stay connected. In a moment, the pastors will attend to you and take you through what to expect each time you come here. Please come next Sunday. Say amen. amen. And come, don't come as a visitor. Come as a member of the family. I was not like this when I first came. But as I kept coming, as I kept coming, see what God has done for me. You will soon be laughing like me when I next see you. You will soon be rejoicing like me when I next see you. I send you forth now. Whatever you are expecting God to do for you this month, this year, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever was a concern in your family has ended now in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Please turn around. The pastor are waiting. Just follow this way. Amen. Church, are you clapping? Are you excited about the harvest today? Come on, give God a shout of praise. Please, ushers, guide them. CC, you guide them. Can they go in two lines, sir? Let them follow this line and follow the middle line. Please move. Channel them in two lines. Channel them in two lines. Go by my right hand, follow that line so we can gain time. We are about closing. Please follow two, three lines. Just follow two, three lines. Can I have some pastors help so we can move on time? Let's hear the testimonies. Praise the Lord. As you hear, you wave your hand to Jesus. NS AGK. NS AGK, wave your hand to Jesus. What happened? And to this location for four months, God healed me of the pain via the mantle, no more pain. Four Go months, ahead. this location ended finally. Am I hearing somebody's hallelujah? Of feeble children, so wave your hand to the Jesus. Chains around my waist. Suddenly, during choir administration, I felt something like a spiritual chain broken. Come on. Put your hands together for Jesus. Every spiritual chain shattered in your life right now. Chain also, also come to this side. Quickly, quickly, please. Linda, severe migraine last night gone as a result of my ministry. Severe migraine gone. Belinda, gone completely. Go. Gone completely. Are you clapping for Jesus? Sunday. Ego Oka. Sunday Ego Oka. Headache for two weeks. Sunday Ego Oka, wave your hand to Jesus. Headache for two weeks. Hey, via the mantle. Put your hands for Jesus. Bigger for the Lord. It's the Choco confidence. 
having pains at the left breast as a result of the mantle ministration gone and pain disappeared. Are you clapping? Every pain in any part of your body screamed the loudest amen is terminated here today. Hey, well, okay, goodness hatred in the family for a long time she believed that by the mass administration it is free forever Completely. hallelujah are you clapping are you clapping she the better severe headaches is yesterday instantly gone during the service with the mass administration everybody rise to your feet please join them she also had an instant healing every testimony that has answered here scream a loud amen never again in the name of jesus christ I said never again in the name of Jesus. Your testimony is sealed. Your testimony is confirmed. No devil shall tamper with it. If that's like your own, let your amen be the loudest one. Get back to your seats. Lift up your transportation seat. Father, in the name of Jesus, receive our offering to help the needy around us. No one here shall see a financial setback. Forward ever, backward never. In Jesus' mighty name. Choir sing. Drop your offerings. Let us sing for two, three minutes and we're good to go. The Lord bless you. There has been dropped. It has gone. They didn't collect my own. Amen. Lift your two hands therefore. Go in peace. In 24 hours, the kind of good news your family has never recorded. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I said the kind of breakthrough your generation has never recorded. The Lord has said, may receive it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I was in Albany Coco Campus over the week and I promised every student that as you come to this service, this feast of laughter, the next seven days you will laugh. Oh. <laughs> if you are ready for continuous celebration from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory, the loudest amen you are going back with loads of celebration in the name of Jesus every student here from any institution from IMSU from FUTO wherever you came from I decree from now up shall no carry over no academic setback in your life again you are going from the back to the front in the name of Jesus the God of Bishop David Oedepo that created Covenant University, Landmark University, Faith Academy, scheme the loudest amen, academic excellence we answer for you. <laughs> Stretch hands here, everyone. I declare August 2019, spiritually, materially, financially, by this ministration, God will visit you in the name of Jesus. God will do you good in the name of Jesus. Before crack of dawn tomorrow that phone call that will change your life forever the loudest amen receive it in the name of jesus christ remember when prayer and fasting the week of spiritual emphasis wednesday thursday friday 5 p.m we're here wednesday thursday and then on friday breakthrough night 10 p.m come and god or breakthrough we end break down your life Next Sunday will be our communion service. Pick up your expressing God in action. It's a blessing to everyone in Jesus' mighty name. With excitement, let's share the goodness one to go. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. The loudest you can. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Congratulations. God bless you.